Personally, I'm getting increasingly confident that we can return Concorde to safe flying as soon as possible. It's part of a, a development, we're working it in parallel, and today when we start installing the first of the tank liner modifications is a very important step in that process. And today we're putting the first of 150 Kevlar and rubber liners inside the tanks. And these Kevlar rubber liners, which are used in Formula One race cars and military aircraft, are designed to ensure that the tank can't give that massive fuel leak that we had in Paris, and if you can't have the massive fuel leak, you can't have the massive fire. I think it, it, it was a, a startling shock for all of us, and, and we didn't think of the airplane that we're so dedicated to. We thought of the people, of the people that were involved and their families. And I rang my counterpart in Air France that first day, and, and it took a while before we started thinking about the technical side of things. But now that we have, we're moving forward together, and this week, whilst we're introducing the first of the liner mods, Air France are flying an airplane down to East near Marseille for the first part of the testing. And I took great delight in ringing him today and wishing him bon voyage. And I think we're, we're working closely together, and we've established much closer links. So we're looking forward to the future and looking forward to seeing Concorde flying again soon.